This is Math 142 practice final. This is question number 10. And we are being asked to find the exact values of sine of 105 degrees. And then we're even told we can break up 105 degrees by considering it 60 plus 45. So I'm going to take a peek at my scoundrels page. And if I'm breaking this up by addition, I'm going to think of this as sine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So I have some addition, a sum going on, and it's sine. And so I notice that sine of things added together is sine of the first, cosine of the second, same operator, cosine of the first, sine of the second. So this should be the same as um, sine of 60 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees, and then same operator, cosine of 60 degrees, sine of 45 degrees. And then these values, I either know them or I can look them up, but there's 60, there's 45. So sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Cosine of 60 is 1 half. And sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. And then from there, I can do a little bit of arithmetic. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 1 times root 2 is root 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So this would be the same as root 6 plus root 2 over 4. And uh, what I love about this is I can check this on my calculator. I could, I could go sine of 105 degrees, get some value. So I better put myself into degree mode. So let's see, sine of 105 degrees is that and I want to know is that the same as this so let me let me try it um, square root of six <laughs> nope square root of six close those parentheses plus square root of two close those parentheses then close the parentheses for the numerator divided by four and that should be the same decimal yeah good I feel good about that answer then 